when I came on board, it was at a pivotal kind of defining moment, a pivotal time in this business. And, you know, Joseph and Nathan and Jeff, you know, they just told me like, I mean, if you go down to Georgia and you work this system and you just do exactly what we tell you to do and just do put more work into this system that's ever been put in and see what comes out the other side, this is gonna be incredibly special. And I think I was just desperate enough at the time and trusted in these guys enough to just believe it and go do that. And the rest was history for me. But it also changed the course of this business and what we do now. As far as the belief, you know, they had gone out and written 100 policies in a week, but there weren't many, if any, people in the field that were doing that, no less on a consistent basis. But they knew it could happen because they had done it before. And, and that's what I did. And quickly thereafter, other people started doing it. It's kind of like the four minute mile, you know. Just like in that story, as soon as people's belief was there that this was possible, then they were like, huh, that's interesting. And they started doing it. And, and now it's a regular uh, occurrence. It's another pivotal moment in this business. It's another defining moment in this business where it's time for us to have somebody and I would say a group of people go do that again. I'm Eric Miller. I'm the coordinator for Maryland West. I uh, just got here today for the first day of boot camp. Just seeing the vision up close and personal, seeing the home, um, hearing the stories that, uh, you know, where, the, where this company started, the people that started it, and how they're a family, just something that I've hardly ever experienced in my life before from a job, let alone some of my own family. So just being a part of the family, and for me, that's what it's about. Tomorrow we're going to go to work, hone in the system, but today just the culture, the environment, somebody I can trust and somebody I know I can be with for the next 10, 15 years. I definitely found it here and a uh, firm believer after this first day. Belief sky high, ready to learn and uh, get back to the territory. So we are in about hour eight of role playing for today. And uh, as you'll see in the footage, um, just a culture of practice, making sure that we role play every possible scenario. And uh, we want to practice here and not practice on our money. Uh, and I think that's an important thing that people need to understand is that um, when you're sitting down with a real live potential customer, potential client, potential member, that is not when you need to be practicing. Um, so we want to get as many different scenarios, as many different questions that could pop up, possible objections that could pop up, and we want to face those here. That way when we face them out there in the real world, we know exactly how to handle them. super proud of you guys. I'm super pumped by this group. This is a group that wants to learn, that wants to adapt, that wants to overcome, and, and that wants to go out and change things and make things happen. And so very, very coachable. So many coachable people in this room that, that are going to make the difference. That's what's going to make the difference. So I appreciate you going through this, these couple painstaking events um, and just opening your minds, your hearts, and, and your ears to receive all of this and grow because this is going to be this is going to be the beginning of the rest of your life because it was for me six years ago and it changed my world completely My name's David Bond, and I um, just finished up the training week in boot camp here, and uh, absolutely amazing. The environment, the people, family atmosphere, so inspiring, and uh, just it's really neat to be a part of something like this. So we just wrapped up our boot camp. It's been a long couple of days, uh, but super excited about this group. One of the best groups we've ever had and just the intense role play and going through all their questions and really just refining all these skills that are kind of 
it's like drinking out of a fire hose, but to be able to refine that stuff and get them to where now they're going back to their to their uh, their homes and just blow up their territories. So extremely excited to see what comes out of this group and uh, looking forward to it. I just wanted to jump on here so that I could record this this live kind of some thoughts that I had running through my running through my brain. Uh, it's such a cool thing to see people that were following my content a year ago, a year and a half ago, some two and a half years now, and had seen me documenting my life as I was going out in the field and selling and, and building this business and you know seeing the ups and downs and all the hard work that, that goes into what we do and then seeing the fruits of those labors I've had, as I've had this progression in my career now being an owner in this business and then have decided to come on board and found that we had a territory available near them and now I get to work with them and with my existing you know, current role uh, where I'm training with them in the field now. And you know, I was in Michigan training with a new coordinator this week. I was in um, Kansas with a new coordinator last week. I was in um, you know, Nicaragua for the week before that, but then I was in Kentucky and I was in Ohio, I was in Maryland and getting to go in the field working with these guys, getting to know them on a personal level, people that were, you know, someone, a stranger, you know, months ago, and now, you know, I'm invested in their lives, I'm finding out about their families, I'm learning their ambitions and their goals in life, and I'm able to actually provide a vehicle that I know can get them there because it did the exact same thing for me. So when I'm training them on these things, I'm training them on the things that I just did five years ago to go from being flat broke to 12 months later, I had $303,000 of commissions deposited into my account. 12 months later, 456,000. 12 months later, 653,000. And then becoming one of the owners of this business. And yeah, like it was just five years ago. The things that I was learning them that then, that they're going through now, that I can now pour into them and hold them accountable through that process so that I can ensure that they can have the exact same story that I do. And to be able to do that in a tangible way, not a way where it's a you know, keynote speech and I'm, you're up on stage and you know, something you said you know, resonated and they went off and you know, did incredible things, like a, a, a tangible, real way in that these people that were jumping on a Facebook Live just like this right now, and then over the period of time, built trust in me, seeing the integrity of what I'm doing day in and day out, and then came on board with our company and now get to work alongside, like locked arms with me to ensure that they have the success that I've had. Like being able to pay that, being able to pay that forward because of the blessings that I received, like these owners of the company, the, the, the founders, that found me when I was in a terrible place. Broke, depressed, just, you know, life had happened to me, like life maybe happened to some of you right now. And they took me under their wing and they saw more in me than I saw in myself at that time. And they were willing to just pour this confidence back into me that I had lost. And then they gave me this opportunity, this vehicle, that I could take the hard work ethic that I had and I could plug that hard work ethic into this system that they had created and know that incredible results were gonna come out on the other side. And the fast paced transactional environment of what we do and what I began doing at that time was the exact thing I needed to build my confidence because what would happen, I would go and I would put in an insane amount of work into a week. But then at the end of that week, I could immediately calculate, like I just made this many thousand dollars, I just made $12,000, I just made $19,000 this week. And I, like, immediately, which would build my confidence. And then I go into the next week with that increased confidence and I would go and crush it in the field. And, and I would be able to see at the end of the week, I, th I could see at the end of every meeting, how much money did I just make in that hour that I just spent exerting effort. And it became almost like an addiction to see how far does this go? How much work can I possibly put into this when there at some point has to be some type of diminishing returns, right? Like at some point there had to be a period where it would start to not be such a huge disproportionate um, equation, right? Like I, I put in this much work, if, if I put in 5X, do I get 5X results? Yeah, I did. If I put in 10X, 
do I get 10x results? Yeah, I did. But where did that end? And I, and I never found it. And so now to be able to provide that same exact opportunity to other people and then me lock arms with them so that they can experience that exact same thing is, uh, is something that I never knew uh, this whole building a brand, building a personal brand and documenting your life is something I never knew that that would ever create. That that would be my platform to be able to help change people's lives and not in a, hey, I was motivated and I went out and did something, but like an actual like, I know their lives, I know their stories, I know what they're going through in this moment as they're transitioning, and I also know what can happen if they go all in. Monday night I fly to uh, Cleveland. I'll be in Cleveland next week training yet another new agent that was following the content and came on board. Um, and I get to go learn about this guy's life and hear this guy's story and see what I can do to make his life better, what I can do to, to help him reach his full potential. And that's in this business, and that's in his personal life, and that's in you know, his relationships, every area. How can, I, how can I help this person become the best versions of themselves? And you know, sometimes that means they no longer stay with us. Sometimes it's in that process we realize that, look, this isn't the right opportunity for you. And if I can help them find the thing that they're supposed to do, then that's, that's, I'll take that win all day and twice on Sunday. Is that right? Every day and twice on Sunday. Because that's what we're doing. We have a leadership development company disguised as an insurance agency. And that's all it is. We are in the business of providing an opportunity for people to become the best versions of themselves. And, um, and that's, that's what I always wanted to do. I have zero interest in insurance. I, I could absolutely care about life insurance, other than the fact that I think it's smart and you need it and it's a good thing to have and I have plenty of life insurance myself, but it doesn't interest me. But it's the vehicle. It's the vehicle that somebody needs to plug into to get them where they need to go. That's, that's it, plain and simple. And we will develop that person. And we will pour into that person. And through vulnerability and transparency from the absolute top down, the CEO, all of our leadership, down to the individual people's, uh, people that are on our team, through vulnerability and transparency and, and telling them about our stuff, telling them about our pain, telling them about our uncomfortable uh, things that make us uncomfortable, then creating that space for them to open up and, and talk about what's going on in their life, talk about things that they've been through. And then it, it, it so quickly becomes this family type atmosphere. And if you go to our website and check out the testimonials, I think it's uh, consolidatedassurance.com. It's assurance, A-S-S-U-R, uh, A-N-C-E, A-S-S-U-R, it sounds dirty. AS, A-S-S-U-R, A-N-C-E, consolidatedassurance.com slash careers. You can see like 12, 13, 14 different testimonials from agents all across the country. And I promise you, whether you're looking for a new career or looking for an opportunity or not, I promise you that by watching these videos, you will, you will become a better person. In watching these testimonials and, and hearing the stories of, of these coordinators that were in, you know, a wide array of past businesses and careers and life experiences, but found something here, found their tribe, found their family, found people that would lock arms with, with them and go to battle with them and, and what's happened since then and what their life looks like since then. And you can't help but be uh, impacted by stories like that. And so I would highly recommend going to our careers page, consolidatedassurance.com slash careers, just checking them out. Like even if you have the best job ever and you're not going anywhere, like this, this is not a plug to, um, you know, to bring you on board. I'm just saying the culture that we have built here, the culture that we have cultivated over, over time is one like I don't think exists anywhere else in corporate America. And, uh, and I think it's something that I wanna make sure everybody knows about and everyone can start implementing the key pillars. Everyone can start implementing um, the things that we're doing on a daily basis to create that type of environment, to create that type of family uh, atmosphere where these people know that there's not a person on our team that wouldn't go to war for them. 
that wouldn't do anything they needed at the drop of a hat. Um, that needs to be shared and that needs to be felt amongst organizations all over the world. And so, you know, I don't know what that'll look like uh, long term, but just feeling extremely grateful uh, tonight. Uh, one of our newest coordinators, not newest coordinators, but one of our new coordinators, his name's Joey. Um, he'd been following my content for like two years and uh, came on board. An uh, opportunity, a territory came open in, open in Texas where he was, and now he works with us. And he knows how big of an influence Gary Vee has been on me, um, you know, on certainly how I put out my content, basically just following his blueprint to a T. Uh, and I think executing on that better than anyone I've ever seen. Um, but the influence that Gary has had on my life and the transformation that I've seen myself go through based on the things that I've learned through his, you know, documenting of his life. And uh, so Gary V, for those of you that don't know, just uh, signed a deal with Topps uh, playing cards, like baseball cards. And they're doing some like special cards that have Gary talking about a, um, you know, entrepreneur that's executing at a high level that's also a baseball player. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's awesome. And, you know, his background, he came from, you know, buying and selling baseball cards when he was in middle school, making like a couple grand on the weekends as a middle school kid. And so for him to come full circle and have that happen, it's cool. Uh, but there's some special edition cards that are of just Gary and th they talk about him. And uh, so anyways, long story short, this new coordinator of mine, knowing what big of an influence Gary's been on my life, um, bought on eBay like an entire box of those cards to see if he could find one and he got one and he gave it to me tonight. So this is one of the uh, Gary V first edition Topps baseball card. So it was a cool moment, you know, it was just like, again, one of those full circle moments where, you know, you're out here getting on Instagram live and Facebook live and, you know, at times wondering like, what in the world, what in the world, who am I, you know, to have anything to say right now? And who am I to have someone get on here and actually listen to what I have to say because of the things that I've done and the mistakes I've made and the pain I've gone through and all the years that I didn't do it right. And then you have moments like that. You have, you have, and these moments are happening daily for me right now of just gratitude for what has happened to me and who I have become through this process of documenting my life. It's, I understand it can, it can sound, you know, almost silly to say that doing what I'm doing right now has made me a better person, has made me a more compassionate person, has made me a kinder person, because I can imagine the, the thought of, Oh, so you're saying, you know, in order to be kind, in order to be more compassionate, in order to actually be a good person, you had to document it so it was like you were being tested at all times? I would respond, yeah, that's exactly what it is. And I could care less how I, what I had to do to get there. I could care less the route in which I chose to take to become that better person, to become that kinder person, to have more compassion, to have more empathy. I don't care what road I had to go through to get there. I just got there. And that's really all I care about. So, you know, I, it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. And so I just put out a um, uh, post on IGTV. I'd love for you guys to check it out when you get off of here. And it's talking about building your brand. I think it says, um, you know, that famous quote, I can't remember who it was, maybe Mark Twain. That said, great stories happen to those who tell them. Great stories happen to those who are telling great stories. Like it's, or, or interesting things happen to those that, I don't know, it's, go check out the quote, I forgot it. My, my brain is completely fried at this point. Um, but this post is all about, you know, having the audacity to go out and tell your story. And the reality that every single one of us, every single one of us are building a personal brand right now. You have a personal brand. The question is, is it being cultivated by you or is it being defined by other people? Your legacy. Is it being cultivated and created by you or is it being defined by others around you? Because one way or another, your legacy is being created and one way or another, your brand is being built. The question is, are you building it or is it being built on the opinions and judgments of everybody else around you. I just don't want anybody else to tell my story. I want to be in control of my story because it's my story. 
So that's why, you know, Chris Vester just put the thumbs up there. He did an incredible Instagram TV uh, vlog episode today because he was taking his daughter to college and she had just graduated. And he realized that over this last year, as he has been documenting his life and doing an incredible job at it, that he was able to capture all these moments of his daughter's senior year, which is incredible. But what he realized was, man, what if I had been documenting like this when she was in kindergarten? What if I had been documenting like this when she you know, entered high school? What if I would have been documenting about this all along the way? the memories and this content that would have been created, he would cherish forever, forever. When he's 80 years old, he's gonna be sitting in a rocking chair somewhere, successful, watching these videos. And now he has that. He has one year of it, and that's 100 times more than anybody else on here has. And I just think we need to take that a little bit more seriously. I just need, I think we need to actually let that sink in and let that marinate for a little while. Because what I'm doing right now, I'm sitting at a table outside and I'm holding my phone up with my arm. It's about to go to sleep because it's been 20 minutes on here. And I pressed record and now this is documented forever. This conversation is documented forever. And I'll be able to look back at this moment and know exactly what I was feeling on August, whatever day it is, 16th, 17th, I have no idea, of 2019, I will know exactly what was going through my head tonight. And I'll be able to relive that. And that's the selfish version because you have to become selfish in order to be selfless. Meaning you have to take care of yourself first. You have to take personal responsibility before you can take care of or be responsible for anybody else. And so many people are on here right now and you're taking care of your, your friend, you're taking care of your, your family, you're taking care of your spouse, you're taking care of your business partners and you're not taking care of yourself. And if you actually slow down enough to think about it, you will realize that until you take care of yourself, until you take personal responsibility, until you take ownership of your life, you're not really providing those other people value anyways. Until you take control of your own life, it's not until then, and it's not until the overflow of that, that you can really help anybody else anyways. And so all you're doing is digging a hole that is going to take longer and longer and longer to get out of. And so I just, I challenge you guys, start documenting your life. If not to put it public on, on, on social media, I don't think that that's necessary. I think that the greatest impact you could have on this planet is by sharing your gifts with the world. And I think social media is the best way to do that. And I... I would beg to say that's a fact that the greatest impact you can ever make is sharing your gifts with the world. But even if you want to just keep it to yourself, that's fine too. I get it. It's not easy. It's extremely uncomfortable. Do it for yourself. Have a process in which you can throw up your phone, take a video when there's something cool going on. And by the way, you're still experiencing that moment just because you're filming it or just because you're taking a picture of it. You're still experiencing it. So you can show me as many memes or as any, many photos of a big crowd of you know, millennials holding their phone up and the one old person there like experiencing it just in awe. I get it, but I promise you they're experiencing it in a different way that's just as impactful. You just don't understand because you're not doing it. But just recording this stuff yourself and having some way of, I don't know, uploading it to the cloud, putting it on a, uh, a hard drive, whatever. But this, I know for a fact. This content that we're doing right now, this conversation that we're having right now, your ability to get on your phone and record these thoughts, whether it goes public or not, these are conversations now recorded for history that your family, your future generations and generations and generations will absolutely cherish. They will watch over and over and over they will be they will be enriched by they will die for you have the ability to do that
and it's now so easy that you have a phone. So the question is, are you choosing not to? Because everything's a choice. You're either doing it or you're not doing it, and not doing it is a choice. You are choosing to rob your families. You are choosing to rob future generations. And I would beg to say you're choosing to rob yourself of these incredible memories, these incredible moments. And uh, I think that's a hard pill to swallow. And that's something that I would have to think long and hard about if I were you and I wasn't documenting any part of my life. I just, I think it's being irresponsible. I think that future generations depend on it. That future generations will be built off of the moments captured by the prior generation. I'll say that again. Future generations will be built by these moments captured by the prior generation. Think of reading a biography of someone, but being able to see it in real time like this, not real time, but being able to see the raw, real version of what you would read in, a, in an epic biography about Colin Powell. Being able to have these type moments of him talking about these things, there, it's no comparison. And we can try to pretend and, and cover our eyes and, and hide from this truth, or we can just start. And I highly encourage you to do that, to start. So guys, I'm gonna get off this, I gotta go inside. It's been a long, long day, and it's gonna be a long, long weekend. Uh, but I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate you for jumping on this Instagram Live or for watching the replay, or whatever we end up turning this into, because this will go on a vlog, this will go on a Road to Legacy, this will go on you know compilation videos that we do. This content will be chopped up and put into 500 pieces of content. That's a little tactical tip, by the way. But the fact that you would get on here and have interest in what I have to say, I cannot explain to you how much that means to me. I cannot, I cannot possibly explain to you how that makes me feel. And it literally is the, one of the greatest joys of my life. And so I appreciate you guys. And uh, that's it. Happy Friday. I'm gonna end on a, I'm gonna end on a positive note because I just got emotional. I'm going to end on a high note and say have an incredible weekend. Be safe. Get something productive done before Monday rolls around. And we will talk to you guys soon.